Well, today is a request video and we had a person ask, can you do a video on tubular tyres and how you fit tubular tyres onto a tubular rim? Well, I've got a tubular tyre and rim combination here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this tyre off and we're going to put on a new one and I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're also going to explain what is a tubular tyre compared to a clincher tyre and a tubeless tyre. So let's roll that intro and let's get into it. Well, this tire I've got here is a Velaflex cotton tubular tire, and it's completely sewn up. So it's not like a clincher. So this this is like it's like a donut, and inside it's all sewn together. So you can't see or access the tube inside. And this is one of the reasons why people are a little bit reluctant to go to tubeless because they say, hey, if you get a flat, how are you going to fix it? Because you can't access the tube and you can't change it. But there is a number of ways that you can fix tubular tyres out on the road or you can take a spare tyre like this and it folds up very neatly and you can carry that around if you get a puncture. But generally, there is ways to fix them without carrying a spare tyre. And they are a lot more reliable than clinches in general. You don't get pinch flats and so forth. So what we'll do is, is we'll get the wheel, the tubular tire and wheel combination. We'll get the old tire off and we'll get this new one on. Now we stop it at the valve here and then we want to let the air out of the tire. So let's get it get that undone and we get all the air out. We need to let the air out because you can't take it off because what happens is when you have air in the tyre pressure is pushed in all directions including towards the rim and outward so that's actually helping hold the tyre on the rim. Well that's empty now, the air is all out so let's do that valve back up again and we'll just put the little cap on for the moment. Right now what we need to do now is is we can't start taking the tire off the rim at this point because the valve goes through the rim. So we need to go opposite that. So we go opposite and then we start to work the tire. A little cap off and there we go she's off well as we can see here some of the some of the tape stayed on the rim so we need to get that off so we've got these clean bits here and we've got these bits that are still on so let's let's get that removed here One bit off, and it's just this bit here, right? Let's get that off. There. Now, here we have a number of components. We have the valve cap. We have an extension, which has got a valve in it, but I'm going to use, an, use this new one that's already in here. And I've also got what we call a valve spanner. And on the valve spanner, there's a hole on one side of it, and on the other side, there's a little spanner which fits around the outside of the valve like this. So you can put that on there like that and you can tighten it. So first of all, what we need to do is get the valve out. So let's get the valve out. And we can undo that and take that out. And then we get the, the extension and we put it in. Now the reason why I'm doing this is because my rims are deep dish rims and this valve here will not be long enough to fit through the rim so I can actually get to the valve and then pump the tire up. So I need to put this extension on. You can pick up these extensions at your bike shops. Now there's different types. There's ones where you can screw them on the end and you just leave the valve open. I don't really like those ones so I like to put these extensions on where the valve is out so I can do it up and make sure it's tight. So just if you're buying some tubulars for the first time don't get the open ones where you have to leave the valve open because I don't think they're as good. So now we've got that on, let's just tighten it up. So we put the valve spanner on with the 
with the open end. And we just tighten that up. There we go. And then we can tighten that one up in there like that. And we're all good to go. Well, what we need to do is find the place where the valve goes through. So that is actually here. This is where the valve point goes through. And we can see here, these are the other two places for the, for the spokes to be tightened. So now we get our tape and we basically put it on and we start right here at the edge of the hole. And you basically just stick it on like sticky tape. It's that simple. So you just work your way around. We need to chop it off just right about here, just before where the valve sits. So let's get that done. Let me get my scissors here. And we're good. Now, before we put the tire on, we need to be able to pull this top layer tape away once the tire's on. So what we need to do is fold this so we can pull it once we've got the tire on. So let me just get a hold of this top tape. Here we go, got a hold of the top tape. And you just fold it away at an angle like that. And we do the same with the other side. And we just fold it away at a 45 degree angle. Just make sure it's nice so it's gonna stay there. And then we have it like that. Now, the next thing we need to do is put the actual valve in the hole and put the tire on. Now, you can see here there's a bit of the tape exposed. Now, that's actually this bit here and this bit here are all sticky. So once I place that in and put this tire on into position, once I get the valve in correctly, like this, the, the tire now is stuck at that point. Now, what we need to do is we need to get the tire and we need to stretch it on the rim. Now, as you can see here, we have the tire and we have it put into the valve. We have the valve sticking out here and we've got our little tabs sticking out, if you can see those. So we can pull that top tape off and activate it when we've got the tire on. So let's just stretch that on. So what you do is you grab the tire like this and you pull outwards and you pull it very, very tight. Make sure there's no air in the tire. And then you go right down to the bottom and then you basically just, these Velaflexes are very easy to put on and stretch on. So there we go. And we just make sure that it's nice and neat and it's on the rim. And as you can see here, we have the tabs sticking out. Now we've got the tire on the rim and we've got the tape underneath the tire, but the tape is not activated. It's only stuck to the rim and it's not stuck to the tire yet because there's this membrane here, which is the top tape for the tubular tape that's stopping it to be activated. Only this little bit here is actually stuck on. So what we need to do is pull these out. But the problem is some tires, especially like Continentals that are very, very tight, when you come to pull this out, the actual tape, you get halfway around that breaks off and then you can't finish the job. So what I like to do is, is use the pencil method or a screwdriver method. So what you do is, is you put a screwdriver underneath the tape and as you work around, you use that and that stops the tape from breaking. But in a lot of cases, the tapes, you can pull them, but it's just a, a security method. So just in case the tape breaks. So let's get that little screwdriver underneath the the tire and I'll show you how that works. So we get that here and we put the, we put the screwdriver underneath the tire. So it's like that there. So now the tire has been lifted up off the tape. So when we pull this now, it's going to allow the tape to easily come away from the tire. So let's start doing that. So we start pulling it and we can, we can wind that along like this, and then we pull a bit more tape out.
Now we've come to the end, we just pull the tape out, the tape is removed, and now we just be careful, we don't disturb the tie too much, and we just take out our screwdriver or pencil that we're using, and now the tie is actually stuck on. Now, it still can be moved and adjusted, so what I normally do now is just put a little bit of air in, about 20 pieces, so just enough to make it round shape, and just check that it's nice and true. Got my trusty pump here, and we just get some air into this tire. Okay, so we'll just, we just want to get it enough pressure in it, so it's just got a nice round shape to it. We don't want it. Okay, just a little bit of air. We've got enough air in it there, I do believe. Just close that valve up. Now, if we have a look, we can spin the tire, and we can see that the tire is nice and true on the rim. This looks actually like it's pretty good. So we can put some more air in it and pump it up all the way. And that helps then make the tape in between the tire and the rim stick really, really well. Yep, it's getting hard. So we're getting there, pumping that tire nice and hard. It's getting there, it's getting pretty hard now. Let me just check it. It must be about, I'd say 80 psi, 70, 80 psi. So what we got here is now we've got the tire on the rim. Now, once the tire's on the rim and pumped up, it can instantly be used. If you were gluing it, you would have to leave it at least overnight. Some people say 24 hours to make sure that the glue sets properly so you're not gonna have a separation from the tire and the rim. But the tape can be used pretty much straight away. Well guys, that's how you fit a tubular tire onto a tubular rim using the tape method. Now, you can use the glue and the glue is what they call contact cement. It's the same sort of glue that they use for sticking your laminex on your kitchen tops. So it's, it's a similar sort of process, but what you do is, is you put a thin layer of that, that contact cement onto the rim and a thin layer of contact cement onto the tire. You allow it to dry and then you usually repeat that process again. So you've got two thin layers of the contact cement on the tire and you need to let it dry in between applications so it does take some time and then what you need to do is put the third coat on which is a thin coat and then you quickly need to put the tire on before it starts to set so you're putting the tire on whilst it's still gooey and then the whole thing sets and you get the tire on the problem with using the glue is it does take a bit of practice to get good at it and it smells and it's very messy and you can end up with all this glue on your fingers and your hands and you need to do it outside the the smell from the glue is quite overpowering and probably toxic it's one of those sorts of products but um, there is a lot of other channels out there that do the glue and I used to use the glue years ago but the tape is so convenient and easy that I use the tape now and it makes it very very quick to put a tire onto a tubular rim and also you can ride the tire straight away. You don't have to wait for the glue to dry and you don't have to do the reapplications, which takes a number of days to put the tire on the rim. Well, anyway, guys, if you've got any questions about the process of how you fit a tubular tire or you just want to make a comment about your experiences with tubular tires in the past, then leave your comments down below and I'll see if I can get back to you with an answer. That's where I'm going to leave it, guys, and thanks for watching.